Hey guys, so I talked with my friend Candace Nelson, the owner of Pizza on a Restaurant and also Sprinkles Cupcakes. She's so incredibly creative. She also talks about being a restaurant owner at this time and what it's like to work in the restaurant industry and shares her famous skillet cookie recipe. Yes, it's a cookie in a skillet. That's delicious. So here's our conversation. I mean, do you feel like you run a restaurant? A hundred percent. I mean, I run a restaurant, but I really run a restaurant here because it is three square meals a day. Do you have angry customers? Yeah, my home restaurant customers can sometimes be a little picky. Candace, before we get started, can you tell people who you are and what you do? Well, my name is Candace Nelson. I'm the founder of Sprinkles Cupcakes. I'm also the founder of Pizzana, which is a pizza restaurant here in Los Angeles. I'm on the Netflix show Sugar Rush, and I love to bake, basically. You're my favorite person to sit next to at a dinner party. <laughs> you posted this recipe on your Instagram the other day. I was like, I want to learn how to make the skillet cookie. I mean, who doesn't love chocolate chip cookies? And it's all made and baked in one pan, so no dishes. So I'm going to walk you through how to make this chocolate chip skillet cookie, which is Super easy. The only thing I would say, because that whole skillet goes in the oven, that handle is gonna be hot. Once it's cooling, I would take off the hot mitt, turn it around and stick it on the handle. Oh, okay, okay, that's good for safety. In terms of it being a kid-friendly recipe, you just wanna make sure that that handle is protected. Okay, get your burner on. Okay. I'm gonna run you through a little mise en place which is a very fancy French term for having all of your ingredients together and already measured out. Okay, mise en place. Two sticks of unsalted butter. Do you have your butter? Butter. You're gonna unpeel those. You might wanna just cut them up a little bit just to make the melting process go a little faster and just gonna stick them in your skillet right away. This is so fun baking with you, Reese. What did I tell you your slogan should be for <laughs> your eating lifestyle? Healthy schmelfy. <laughs> Everyone else in LA is a health nut, and Candace is like, healthy schmelfy, man. <laughs> Eat some cupcakes. I made a meal last night that can only really be described as um, hot garbage. <laughs> and literally, my daughter turned to me halfway through the meal, and she goes, is it going to hurt your feelings if I throw this away? <laughs> Wait, what was it? Like spaghetti squashes with just all the stuff inside of it, but it all just turned into like cheese soup. It was nasty. It was so gross. Now, one note, do you have a rubber spatula or a wooden spoon? Because I'm worried that that metal spoon is going to scratch your cast eyes. Let's see. <laughs> I do. Excellent. That is what you want. Okay, so you want it to melt fully, and then you're going to add your sugars. You're going to add a cup of dark brown sugar, and you're going to add a third of a cup of granulated sugar. By the way, we went to Pizza Auto the other day and had the meatball sub sandwiches they were so good oh good i'm so glad you snagged one okay so this is melting you want to talk a little bit about what it means to be a restaurant owner right now restaurants have been hit incredibly hard we make our business on bringing people together around food and we can't do that so we're trying to get by on our takeout business we are also trying to support our frontline responders and we started this gofundme account where people can contribute money to have Pizzana help deliver food to these frontline responders at all the hospitals in LA. And that has been an incredibly rewarding thing for us to do. That's just such an, a great way to give back. And it supports all those frontline responders that are working so hard and really need a boost. So do you have your sugar mixed in there with the butter? You're gonna turn your heat to low because you don't really need to cook it too high. And then you just wanna kind of mix it until it comes together and emulsifies. Once those have all come together, add an egg and an egg yolk. You don't wanna add the egg right into that hot skillet because you can get some scrambled eggs. Once the sugar and the butter have come together, you wanna to stick it in the fridge for like 10 minutes or even in the freezer if you have room in the freezer to cool down so that the egg isn't hitting like a hot mess. So I'm using a whisk. You wanna start just in the middle with a tight circle and then you wanna bring it out further Oh, this is cool. And it doesn't need to be perfect, but you do want the sugar and the butter to come together as much as possible. Okay, yeah, this looks like the universe. It's looking very cool. It's in the, the freezer for just a minute to let it solidify. Oven should be preheated to 325. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. So what are you doing all day with the kids and stuff? 
Well, the kids do have some online school. Are they doing schoolwork or are they playing video games? <laughs> So I have to kind of check up on them, do a little school proctoring. We like to, you know, um, take the dog for a walk or do a little hike, tons of board games, watching a lot of like classic comedy movies. Like what? Tell me. Well, like Legally Blonde. I'm so glad. How did the boys like it? So my boys loved it. They, they watched Legally Blonde. They became obsessed. They immediately re requested, actually demanded Legally Blonde too. They say that laughter boosts your immune system for up to 24 hours so we've been really trying to like boost the laughter around here family feud all those great comedic movies they watched austin Powers, so both my boys are running around saying oh behave oh behave <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> in really bad british accents um, we watched Mrs. Doubtfire, and I think tonight we're going to watch um, Young Frankenstein. Maybe I should pre-measure some stuff. Okay, so you want two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Two and a half cups, okay. Do I need baking soda or baking powder? Baking soda. One teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt, and you can just throw those right in there with the flour. I've got my flour done. I'm sure my skillet has cooled off. I'm sure it has. That seems perfect. The one other thing we haven't measured, but this is fine, you can just toss it in at the end, is the vanilla. You're gonna want a tablespoon of vanilla. Oh, it looks good. It looks so different, Candace. Has it settled down? Oh yeah, it's settled. It shouldn't turn back into butter, should it? No. Okay, so I'm gonna separate an egg and then one egg yolk. And you don't even need to put the heat back on at this point. You should just be able to mix it all in. I'm just gonna do it with a fork. Here we go. Somebody wants to say hi to you, Reese. Hi, hey, Reese. <laughs> How are you? Good. I love Legally Blonde 1 and 2. <laughs> what do you think in Legally Blonde 3, what should the plot be? Where should we go? We go to Europe. <laughs> I think he's on to something. Okay, I've got the eggs. Now you're just going to add it to your skillet. Get that mixture all blended together. You, all of your fans are here today, Reese. Hi. <laughs> do I add the flour now? Now you're gonna add your flour and your baking soda and your salt. What about the vanilla? If everything's cooled down, it's not too warm, you can add the vanilla now. And you might wanna switch to a wooden spoon at this point because it will get a little hard to mix. And at the end, what I do is I actually pat the mixture with my hands into the sides of the pan. Do you know like everything's going on with No Kid Hungry right now? Yeah, I mean, they are one of the most incredibly organized charities and they are doing so much. We actually had, a patron of Pizzana's offer to give a thousand dollars a day worth of food at Pizzana for several weeks to feed people who are in need. And so we are taking that money and pairing up with No Kid Hungry to help feed the kids who normally, you know, rely on school to get their lunch and to get their breakfast. When everybody pitches in and thinks beyond themselves, it's incredible to see what happens. Oh my God, it looks perfect. It's looking like a cookie, a big old cookie. If you have a kid helping you, this is definitely when they want to get involved. You're going to dump a cup and a half worth of chocolate chips in there, and then you're going to pat it all in. Okay. That's a lot of chocolate chips. It is. I mean, listen, if it's too much chocolate for you. Oh, it's not. <laughs> okay, so now I'm kind of mushing the chips in. You got it. Yes. So what's that extra that you're doing there? You're just putting some more on top? I had a little extra stash and these are smaller. Oh, look at you riffing on the recipe. I love that. I'm filling in the gaps. Okay. You are, as I would have imagined, an A plus student. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's ready. It's ready. Pop it in the oven. So the oven's at 350. So here's the thing. I always like to just check on it. So why don't you set your timer for 15 minutes and we'll evaluate how much longer it needs. But in general, 20 minutes of baking time. It's perfect. Candace, this is amazing. This is so fun. I'm gonna send you a picture of the result. Okay, what you're looking for is that it's all golden brown, it's puffed up. And if you pull it a little early, no big deal because it's just gonna be gooey in the middle. If you wanna eat it hot right out of the oven, just throw some ice cream on it. It'll get all melty, it's so good or you can wait for it to cool and slice it into, you know, like uh, wedges. I'm so excited. Okay, you're the best. I can't wait to see you again and give you a hug. Me too, Reese. I love you so much. Enjoy that cookie and enjoy your time with family. I love you. All right, honey, big kiss to your whole family. You too. Bye. Bye. Hey, I 
think our cookie skillet is ready. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you guys. Cookie skillet. Thank you, Candace. Should I tell the kids or should I just eat it myself? Hi y'all, thank you so much for watching the video. If you wanna see more content like this, subscribe here, or here, or here, like somewhere in this area. Anywhere, over there.